Good evening, I'm Rick Van Hoos. I'm Vicki Dorch. Drivers across the country are desperately looking for any relief at the gas pump. The average price in Indiana is already well above $5 a gallon. Here in Louisville, we're paying as much as 40 cents more than people in other parts of Kentucky. WLKY's Manash Gwangwari joins us live with the steps the governor and state lawmakers are taking to bring down the cost. Manash? Yeah, that's right, Vicki Rick. Governor Andy Bashir today signed and sent a letter to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency urging its top administrators to do what they can to suspend the reformulated gas requirement for this region that primarily affects all of Jefferson County, parts of Bullitt, and parts of Oldham County. Now, he says if his request is granted, people in this region could expect to pay about 20 to 30 cents less per gallon. That's something people I spoke with say would be a game changer. Driving all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, Adrian Fitz paid attention to the gas prices as he went through each state and says the prices varied. But he says there was nothing like Louisville. I didn't find that they were a little bit more expensive. I found they were a lot more expensive. This week, gas prices in Louisville hit a record high of an average of $4.96 a gallon. It's literally BS what we're paying for gas right now. Part of the problem, we're paying for reformulated gas in Jefferson County and surrounding areas. In the 1990s, the state opted into a program to reduce harmful toxins from getting into the air by requiring all gas stations to sell reformulated gas during the summer months. Refiners say it costs more to make, therefore it costs more to buy. And this year, Paul Patel, the owner of the BP gas station near Cardinal Stadium, says he's having to charge people 30 cents more per gallon. Imagine this the people living outside of the Louisville or in commuting into the Louisville, do you think they are getting gas in the Louisville? I don't think so. They, they wait until they go back. It's the very reason he joined several Republican state lawmakers on Thursday who called for RFG to be eliminated. This was created under standards 20 years ago. And what have we had in the last 20 years at least? We've got hybrid cars, we've got electric cars. Republican State Representative Kevin Bratcher says after closing a few industrial plants as well as new technology, the need for RFG is not as important as it once was. The Louisville Air Pollution Control District issued a statement. The portion reads, the Louisville area is now meeting all of the national ambient air quality standards. Many drivers like Fitz hope the effort to suspend or eliminate reformulated gas works so that the price is cheaper at the pump. This is the time you want to go out and spend time with your family. You want to take road trips. You want to go out and spend time with the people that you love. Now, it should be noted, if Bashir's request is granted, the reformulated gas suspension would only last up to 20 days. Bashir says in a perfect world, after that 20 days, he would look at options of furthering that suspension. However, it should be noted that the RFG period goes until September 15th. Reporting live in Louisville, Manaj Kungwari, WLKY News. Thank you.